Hi, this is Jeremy with Opti Harvest. I'm out here in North Carolina. I'm with Martin Crompton, who is the uh, vineyard manager for Union Grove Farms. And we're going to get a little color and background onto uh, this vineyard, the trial, and what they're looking at with our Opti Grow chambers. Hey, Martin. Hey there. So, we uh, hooked up with Opti Harvest several months ago, and we moved into a quick discussion about the potential to do a trial on the farm. Because, uh, as they always say, seeing is believing. Very impressed with the data that they provided in the trials that they were running in California. Managed to convince the owner here to uh, let me run a trial with them. So we selected to utilize what we call our laboratory space here. We carried out a number of trials. What you'll see on this row here, which is row out of block D in our vineyard, is blue tubes. These are what we use, the standard tubes that we use in the industry for protection against animals eating the vines when they first go in as cuttings. It helps to prevent any spray drift onto the vines if you're using toxic chemicals. We don't do that here. We use regenerative biological sprays and it also apparently gives, uh, it creates an environment which is, encourages growth. However, been very disappointed over the years with the impact that they've, they've had. So what I wanted to do was have a side-by-side -side trial. Same growing environment, same ground, north side, south side. These were planted exactly the same time last year. Uh, we put them late in the ground in July. And this is the result we've had after a year's growth. These should be hitting the wire. They should be by now going into cordons. And what you're seeing is very, very disappointing growth. This is the night and day distance that we've seen as an effect. If you come down this side, Jim, you'll see the open chambers coming down here. These have exploded. As I say, exactly the same cuttings. We've propagated these from our existing new seedless muscadine plants last year. We brought them out of the greenhouse. We put them in the ground at exactly the same time. And these not only have hit the wire, but they've also bifurcated and running alongside. We've got the cordons running off already. It's an absolute startling difference and great benefit that has been driven by OptiGrow's, sorry, OptiHarvest's OptiGrow chambers. Very, very pleased, as is the entire team here. And I'm confident this will now go through to when we plant our 17,000 new seedling varieties next year. We'll be going with quite a number of these in the ground.